Esther chapter 4 and in verse 13, he sent back this answer. Do not think that because you are in the king's house, you alone of all the Jews will escape. For if you, verse 14 now, for if you remain silent at this time, relief and deliverance for the Jews will arise from another place. But you and your father's family will perish. And who knows but that you have come to royal position for such a time as this. Now, we know this particular passage of the Bible is a very common passage, very popular. It tells about the story of, um, you know, the Jews when their life was threatened after Haman had plotted to exterminate them. But it is, there are times in our lives when there are crises, when there are situations. He's wanting to pray and say, I prayed. He's wanting to say, I believe God for a miracle. He's wanting to wish that the thing would just resolve itself like that. But there are actually times that you need to take an action. There are actually times that you need to stand up and act. If Esther hadn't stood up to act by praying, of course, and fasting, and then going ahead to go into the king, even when he was, she was not supposed to go, I believe that the story of the Jews would have ended differently. So there is a time for you to act. There's a time for you to stand up. That's what God will do. That's what you and I will do. It's complimentary. Of course, we know that God is a sovereign God. He can do whatever he wants to do at any point. But for most of the time, there's something for you to do. There's something for God to do. I pray for you. If there's any situation you're going through in your life, which you don't know what to do, which you're feeling like, okay, God will resolve it. God will solve it. It will wish it to go away. I pray for you and I decree and declare the grace to take the action, the grace to stand up and be counted. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. Go ahead. Take that action. You will succeed in Jesus' mighty name. Oh,